Well, I'm leaving at the end of the school year, which is the end of my contract. A year ago, the previous board did a very early non-renewal of my contract. A new board came into place in January, and it was my hope uh, beginning in January that the new board would see fit to overturn that. But they haven't, and at our last board meeting in August, the board president announced that they would be searching for a new superintendent. Did they tell you why? No. Do you think you have a suspicion as to why? I think that any time that you have such a cultural shift that we've had in Perth Amboy, it gets very uncomfortable for people. It's very difficult. I came into this district and we had some incredibly terrible things happening to children. We had bilingual students who had been segregated because they spoke Spanish. We had kids who were earning high school credits in academic subjects for pushing brooms. 36% uh, of our kids don't finish high school. Uh, less than half of the teachers were not observed or evaluated. Really tough stuff. And thanks to the work of a lot of really great people over the past two years, we've been able to change those things. We've talked over that time, and, and the, I mean, the numbers are there. There has been a substantial turnaround there has been. in this district from all the things you cited, the disciplinary aspects that we've covered in some previous interviews as well. But you must have had great hope that this new board would sweep away the bad blood, right? Absolutely. And the new board is not behaving like the old board did. They're, they're not doing the unethical and illegal types of things. So you don't think they're out to, to get rid of you because of the nepotism that you alleged previously or because of the change in programs? You think they just want a uh, fresh, fresh start? I think that they want something that feels a little bit easier. There's a lot of pressure from a very small group of people, but a very vocal group of people. Still resistant to your reforms? There are still some people in the community who would like for the politicians to have control of the jobs. There are some people in the community who would like bilingual children to be segregated. There are some people in the community that uh, are not passionate about making sure every child graduates. So what you're saying then is essentially when you get out there's a distinct possibility that they'll roll back much of what you accomplished. Well that's my greatest fear because these kids can't wait any longer and if I leave and everything goes back to the way it was before, it's a whole generation we're going to lose. So that's why I'm committed to staying through the end of my contract and making sure we can keep things as firmly in place as possible. But we've had such a cultural shift with the faculty and with many members of the community that I'm, I have to be optimistic. I, I can't for a minute believe that we're going to lose this generation of kids. It's got to be tough in many respects, though, because, I mean, this was a, a headline-making battle that yes. you had a uh, precedent setting in, in many ways. Do you, I mean, some would say even under these conditions, having changed the, the complexion and complexity of the issues, the, the board's constitution being changed, you know, it's not the same people, it's not the same fight. But to still leave what, you, what you've got, a uh, work in progress, it's got to be a little bit disappointing, no? Of course it's disappointing. This is my life's work. It is my life's work, my life's work to improve educational opportunities for kids. And but you have told me previously you, you, you were not going to let them beat you. Do you think this ultimately, if you, if you leave this way, that those people that you were fighting against will have the last laugh? I don't know if the last laugh is a good, word, uh, good way to put it. I think that they'll believe that they've won. And I think that they'll believe that they can go back to their ways of, you know, putting their initials on an application and making people hire the people they want to hire. I think that they'll believe all of that. But well, where um, do you go next? I mean, you, uh, you suddenly uh, confronted. You're a young woman. You, you know, you're a you're a, a respected professional. Where do you go next? There are lots of great opportunities out there. I just want to be someplace where I can continue to do good work. And what's the lasting legacy you hope? you will leave behind when the school doors are closed at the end of this school year. I hope that when I leave that there is a system and a community who demands the kind of schools that our kids deserve, who will not stop until we are making decisions based on what's right for children. Superintendent Janine Caffrey, we thank you for coming in once again. Thank you, Mike.